Hi. In this video, you will be able to recall the units of mass under the international system and in the English system. Please watch till the end. This is Jack's Insights. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Before we begin recalling all the units of mass under each system, let us first differentiate weight and mass for additional information. Now, take a look at this picture. So, do you have now an idea about the difference between weight and mass? These are the summary of the difference between weight and mass. 1. Mass is the amount of matters, while weight is the pull of gravity on an object. 2. The mass of an object doesn't change when an object's location changes. Weight, on the other hand, does change with location. 3. In this table, you can see the basic units of mass in the international system. Gram is the base unit in which its multiplying factor is 1. Going to the right, we have decigram, centigram, and milligram. Going to the left, we have decagram, hectogram, and kilogram. The second row of this table contains the corresponding multiplying factors of the units. Just always remember that the distance between units is a power of 10. I will give you sample equivalences of the units of mass. Since the distance between two adjacent units are powers of 10, then we have these equivalences. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. Oppositely, 1 gram is 1 over 1000 kilogram or 0.001 kilogram. 1 hectogram equals 100 grams. 1 gram equals 1 over 100 grams. 1 decagram is 10 grams and 1 gram is 1 over 10 decagram or 0.1 decagram. Same idea applies to the other units. And take note of this relationship, which is also important. 1 metric ton, its symbol is small t, is equal to 1000 kilograms. Let's have a sample conversion of units of mass. Convert 23.8 Hg to Dg. This time we will be applying our knowledge about conversion factors. If you want to know the details about conversion factors and other important terms in converting units, then try to watch my other videos that found in the description below. So, the conversion factor for this conversion is 1000 decigram over 1 hectogram. Hectogram is in the denominator since that is the symbol to be cancelled out. Do the factor label method, so the answer is 23, 800 decigrams. The conversion under the international system is as easy as that. These are also the basic equivalences of units in the English system. We have 1 pound, the symbol for pound is pound is equal to 16 ounces or oz. And 1 ton, capital T in symbol, is equal to 2000 pounds. In system to a system conversion. These are now the basic equivalences of the units in the international system and the English system. 1 ounce is approximately 28.3 grams. 1 pound is approximately 0.45 kilogram. Let's have 12.75 kilograms to be converted ounce. First, determine the conversion factors to be used in order to get the desired unit. The conversion factors for this problem are 1 pound over 0.45 kilogram and 16 ounces over 1 pound. Arrange your solution using the factor label method. 12.75 kilograms times 1 pound over 0.45 kilogram times 16 ounces over 1 pound equals, this time the units kg and pound will be cancelled out and the answer is 453.33 ounces. 
So, that is how to convert units from one system to the other. That's all for this session. I hope you get something about this video. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.